So hey, my name's uh, Brewer Eberly. I'm one of the second year family medicine residents here. I'm gonna show you around our clinic and kind of talk a little bit about what to expect on your ambulatory rotation. This is Christy Glenn and then Lee Freeman and then Jillian. Um, you'll interact with them all the time, whether it's events or kind of receiving emails, talking about noon conference. Their doors are always open. They're extremely helpful and essentially the lifeblood that makes things run smoothly here. All right, so part of the way it works here on ambulatory is there are six pods in our clinic. Um, at the beginning of the year, as an intern, you're assigned to a distinct pod. Um, and then you also have your own um, kind of uh, nurses that'll work with you in your pod and then preceptors that are assigned to you. Um, oftentimes you'll float, you're not always in the same pod all the time, but in general your pod kind of becomes your home base um, where you'll receive uh, like prior offs for medications for patients in a folder that's designated here. Um, but typically you'll come here, your nurses would be sitting here, you'll, uh, what we do called huddling, which um, is very important, you know, kind of going over your plan for the day, all the patients you're gonna see, your know, brief problem representation in one or two sentences, and then any pertinent labs or anything that you may anticipate that um, you'd want your nursing staff to be aware of. Okay, so here are um, some examples of just examining rooms where you'll look at patients. I was gonna flip a light on here. Um, right, pretty, pretty standard, but I think good. Um, so usually you'll have two um, on either side, of course, and then here's where often folks will do uh, their work. So we'll come back here and chart so part of the pod structure is we also have um, specialty clinics. Um, they're usually back here in this pod, but they cannot be in other places. Um, so for example, we have uh, ortho clinic, gyne clinic, OB clinic, um, derm clinic, OMT clinic, and then MAT. Um, and those are basically sections of your day where you're on ambulatory rotation, where you're seeing patients, but patients uh, with specific problems, right? So if you're in, you're in ortho clinic, you'll be focused on sports medicine and working with our fellows. If you're in OMT, you'll be learning some OMT techniques from some of our um, DO faculty. Uh, in general, um, how it works for how many patients you'll see uh, is you start off seeing two patients during a four hour period as an intern, and you'll kind of slowly work up from there. So you'll get to up to 11 patients in a four hour period as a third year. And um, that's important for two reasons. I think first, because it reflects the kind of reality of uh, practice when you get into the real world. Um, and then of course, it sort of forces you in a good way to become more efficient with your documentation and care. Um, so earlier I was talking about specialty clinics. Here's an example of uh, sort of like where you go for OMT, right? So this is an OMT table. You can learn some skills with Dr. Mulroy. Um, we also keep ultrasound machines in here. Looks like several of them are actually being used right now, probably by sports medicine. Um, but if you have an OB uh, visit, for example, and then of course if you have a um, sports medicine or ortho visit, you'll uh, use ultrasound. We also have procedure rooms here. Uh, so we, either on derm clinic or even on OB, so if you're inserting a Nexplanon, for example, or doing any kind of minor skin surgery, um, you'll come in here, of course. Uh, so just wanted to show you all that as well. All right, so this is the preceptor box. Um, so kind of as I explained, when you go to each of your pods, um, you kind of have your own little nursing team and you'll have your own um, uh, census of patients, of course, but you'll often float around. But what remains consistent is you'll always come in here and present your patients to our attendings and preceptors. Um, it's, a, it's a friendly environment, it really is. Uh, they're here to help you learn, to kind of help you think critically and um, kind of appropriately second guess your own clinical reasoning where appropriate to help you think of other options. Um, but you'll come down, sit here on one of the stools, of course, they'll be sitting um, doing their own charting as well and you'll present the patient. Um, so it's a great time to hone your presentation skills. One of the folks that uh, we really enjoy working with um, is Katie Hart. She's one of our billing um, and coding experts. So you'll uh, kind of meet her in orientation, but you also work closely with her to master your ability to correctly uh, bill for visits um, and procedures. This is our workroom. Uh, oftentimes everyone will kind of come in here and work. Some folks, as I said earlier, will uh, do their charting and work in the pods. And sometimes they'll come in here and do work. We have noon conference right now during COVID, of course. We're not really meeting in conference room, so we'll kind of come in here together and watch it. Um, but yeah, we have a good time. There's a good sense of community here. 
All right, so thanks for watching this, uh, getting a brief little tour of um, what life is like when you're on ambulatory and here in our clinic. Um, we recognize that these videos can only capture kind of some of the basics uh, and there'll be some, you know, little nuanced things that you'll learn as you come here. Um, but of course, if there are any questions, please do reach out to us. We're eager to speak about our program and share it with you all and um, we'd love to learn more about you.